latest fabric haul. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a new to me fabric retailer. This retailer is LA Finch Fabrics and I just recently discovered it and I'm so glad I did. Let me show you what I got from them. The first piece is this double brushed poly knit and it is so delicious. It is so soft. Um, it's almost velvety, um, the texture. I can even think of making with this is probably a great set of summer PJs, maybe like shorts and like a little cami top. Maybe um, put a little lace trim around it. Let me hold the fabric up so you can see this. I'm normally um, a big floral print person, but it's just something about this that says, um, spring summer i love that it's on a black background and this blushy peachy color is so of the moment right now and, uh the pattern i think i'm going to use is that last vogue patterns pj set with the matching robe i think that one will be perfect for this i have been wanting um to make the new Vogue 92.59 jumpsuit. And I know I wanted two of them. I wanted one in a solid and I wanted one in a print. And this is the print that I picked out. And this is a rayon crepe print. And it's pretty subtle. Um, the design isn't so severe that I have to worry about matching it at the seams. So this one will be really easy to handle. And I've worked with um, rayon crepes before and they press so well. But uh, one thing I will suggest is always using some sort of pressing cloth. Um, I like to use uh, a piece of silk organza to keep from scorching the fabric because I use one of those industrial gravity feed irons and they get really hot and they will do some damage if you're not careful. And also, you don't wanna put like that um, weird looking shine on the fabric. So a pressing cloth will definitely help with that. This is the other piece that I got. This one is called um, a festival rayon crepe woven. I mean, if this one doesn't scream um, South by Southwest, I don't know what does because this is pretty great. And um, I was thinking of maybe a dress, but then I thought, why not something like a kimono? It has so many colors in it that all you would need to put it on with is probably um, like a little white tank top and some distressed denim, jeans or either shorts, or it would make a great swimsuit cover up. Get into that print though. Even though for this haul, I went a little rogue and um, with my buying, I usually have a definitive plan on what I'm gonna make. Um, with those pieces, not so sure, but we'll figure it out. But with this one right here, I definitely know what I'm making. This is a blue indigo and white floral linen print. And this one is from Mood Fabrics. What I like about this um, particular linen is it's crisp. It has a very crisp pan, but it's still lightweight and summery. It's um, a little heavier than a uh, tissue weight. You can see through it slightly, um, so my garment will be fully lined, but it's crisp enough that it will hold the shape. And the color, hope you can see that, it's absolutely gorgeous. This indigo blue uh, looks like um, probably a faded denim and it looks so good against the white. I picked this piece for that new Rebecca Balance Vogue pattern, um, 1546, and I think it will look absolutely gorgeous in that little dress that I'll probably be cutting at some point this week. For my lining, I went ahead and selected this poly crepe de chine and a solid white because I haven't looked at the pattern yet and I'm not sure if the bodice is self-lined or if it's lined with the actual lining fabric, um, but I bought enough to line the skirt and the bodice. And here is another print. I've just gone like print crazy 
this time. Um, this one is called the Italian Orange Kaleidoscope Digitally Printed Stretch Poly Print. Now, when I bought this, um, I did have in mind to make a romper because um, it's pretty stable, but enough stretch that would make a romper comfortable. And I just really love the colors. Um, a color like this will work good going from summer into our early fall season here because it will still be warm in September, but these colors will be completely appropriate. You know, you're walking around in shorts and won't look crazy. And last but not least, now here is my most random purchase. This is one time when I really should have ordered a swatch before buying four yards of fabric. This is a Ralph Lauren matte viscose jersey. As you can see, it is pretty translucent. Now I bought this because I wanted to make a white jumpsuit, but again, not really bottom weight appropriate. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I may probably buy some sort of a coordinating lining fabric and make maybe like a really long pretty uh, white maxi dress for the summer because I looked up on line uh, to see what uh, Ralph Lauren had done with this particular fabric and it looks like it was in like a lot of uh, cocktail type dresses or maybe even bridal and um, even though I don't want to look like here comes the bride in a maxi dress I still think that it would make a really great white dress. Um, I always like to make um, some sort of white dress every season and this may be my white dress for this time. So we will see. But this is a lesson that we all should learn. Make sure you swatch first if you're unsure about the weight of a particular fabric. Well that's it for this time. This one was nice and short and I hope you guys like what I bought and um, I can't wait to show you what I'm going to make with it. So I'll see you next time.